What's up guys, Given here in this video and be doing a video, well as you guys know by the title, ways Titanfall could be improved, because what I really see in Black Ops 3 is Titanfall, you know, and out of any other game, you know, Advanced Warfare, Destiny, I really think Titanfall looks the most like Black Ops 3, just some of the designs, some of the map designs, some of the stuff, you know, mechanics like the wall running and some of the gun designs as well. So, and before you guys get mad at me for trying to compare Black Ops 3 to Titanfall, I don't think Titanfall was a bad game. I think it was amazing. If you guys remember when it was first released, it easily had some of the best gameplay out there. It was just super great for a futuristic game. And it was released before Advanced Warfare. So, you know, think about that. This was released 2014. And it's still epic to this day. And I, th I think really at the core why everybody abandoned this game was because it got boring after a while. And why it got boring? Well, I have reasons. I have stuff to tell you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So the number one thing I want to talk about is burn cards. And if you guys remember them, you probably don't. I don't even remember them. And I played it like yesterday. So burn cards are like these sort of... Yu-Gi-Oh cards you have and you can use them in the middle of the match to summon guns and stuff like that and they weren't really necessary and they weren't exactly useful. I felt like a lot of those guns that you got from burn cards should have been in the game already as you know things you could select. So it was one of those things that you were getting these guns that were good but they weren't really different from any other type of gun and I didn't really think that they were useful. I never used them and it didn't really make me worse at the game. So and have these burn cards giving us different variety of guns with maybe elemental effects or different things sort of like the war machine in Black Ops 2 where you have your regular guns but with this one score streak you get a epic gun that is explosive and way better than any other gun. If those were the kind of guns you were getting from burn cards they'd be more necessary in competitive play if they're was going to be competitive play in the future the second thing i want to talk about is more variety of guns and or more organization and if you guys play titanfall you know today there isn't really any organization to the guns yes there's primary weapons secondary weapons and stuff like that but they aren't really split up into different categories of weapons there's just you know snipers assault rifles smgs all in the same category as primary weapons and so, I would like to see organization, like come on Respawn Entertainment, you can do it, it isn't very hard, and then adding more weapons to them. Now, I feel like already most of the guns in Titanfall are very similar, so what we need is different types of guns, and then we also need more variety. <laughs> if we did have another Titanfall, what we really need is more variety of Titans, and we do have more variety, we do have a variety of Titans, but they all are really, in general, the same. They have the... They all have different characteristics and they all, they all have different qualities, you know, damage and wise and stuff like that. But they all really do play the same. So what if we had different Titans like a Worm Titan and smaller Titans? I think smaller Titans would be a lot more helpful. Yeah, maybe you couldn't climb into them, but you could ride on them and they could be fast ways to get around the map. Also, maybe if we had a Titan that could create like an energy barrier that weapons couldn't shoot through, that'd be really cool. Also, a giant Worm Titan, like I said. That would be insane. Think about it, a giant Titan... That was pretty much like a worm and it was just going through the streets and you could control it now obviously that would be a little bit overpowered but titanfall is a giant game it has giant maps so i don't think it'd be too overpowered i think you'd be able to fit something like that in there and then finally what i really want to talk about the biggest and most important thing on this list is no bots and what bots did was it made it impossible to play competitive and it did fill the map with players but they weren't real, and they were way too easy to kill, and made the game so much less challenging. If there were more players in the game, it'd be a lot more fun. If we had 20 people versus 20 people on the map sizes that we already have in Titanfall, that would make sense. You'd actually be able to play against good players, and there'd be more realistic combat instead of having bots sit down in, like, corners and throwing grenades at them to kill them, you know. We would actually be having more of a challenge with the game, and that would make the game a lot more fun than playing against bots, really. The only thing that bots really do add into the game is an atmosphere, and the atmosphere is awesome in this game, but if we had more players in the game, then there would be even more of an awesome atmosphere against other players, more titans, more stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, I just, you know, went off and did my own thing on this video and just, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, see you guys later, give me game out, and I'm hoping Black Ops 3 turns out to be good, you know, in Vondi we trust. Hopefully zombies turns out to be good. I may be doing a video on zombies. I feel like the multiplayer is holding zombies back a little bit. I'm just saying. You can judge me all you want. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video. See you guys later. Give me, game me out. And have a good day.